All right, so we're moving on to chapter six, which is the second law of thermodynamics. So the first law of thermodynamics was conservation of energy. The second law, it's about entropy. It says that the entropy of the universe is always increasing. Uh, let's not get into the weeds of entropy until chapter seven. Let's just say that the second law shows us that processes occur in a certain direction. All right, so not only does everything have to add up, but it needs to go in a certain direction. Uh, two things here. Energy uh, has a quality. We'll, we'll, we'll say energy has a quality in entropy as well as a quantity. Right. So quality is going to be the second law. Uh, quantity is going to be the first law. Uh, processes. Processes must satisfy both the first and second law must satisfy both the first law and the second law okay that's just an intro okay uh section two talks about these reservoirs okay uh so thermal energy reservoirs that can accept and give heat uh without undergoing any change in temperature. So a thermal energy reservoir, here's the definition, a hypothetical body with a relatively large thermal energy capacity, so either a large mass or a large specific heat or both, right, kind of multiplied together, uh, that can supply or absorb a good amount of heat, right, a measurable amount of heat without undergoing any change in temperature, like an ocean, right, like a river, uh, a lake, uh, the atmosphere. So something compared to our little system, our little tank, you know, our little uh, whatever we're looking at, something that's much bigger and can take that heat uh, without significantly changing its temperature or absorb that heat. Okay, a reservoir that supplies energy is a source. We're going to call it a source. So a, a large reservoir that supplies energy it's supplying energy and it's still keeping it its own temperature, right? It's still keeping its, um, its large, uh, it's not changing its temperature. Uh, and then a reservoir that absorbs energy is called a sink. So we will just kind of give those definitions uh, that we're going to use for uh, some of our systems later. A source supplies energy, an unlimited amount of energy without changing its temperature. A sink accepts um, energy without changing its temperature.